Uh, welcome once again to Learner's Coach. So I want us to take a look at some of the 10 uh, best degree medical courses that are offered uh, by COOPS or through uh, COOPS. So if you have been following us, I've uh, actually invested a lot of time uh, talking about these particular medical uh, courses because most people are often confused uh, which particular uh, degree course should they pursue in medical field, which one, a diploma course should they pursue, which certificate course should you pursue. So if you're joining us for the very first time, uh, just kindly take time and go through uh, the various articles within our website and also the videos that we have uh, placed within our channel for more information. Now, uh, allow me to start from the last one, not really last in any given order, right? It's only that we have to number them because there are 10. So I'm not saying that the first one is the most marketable or not. All these are good uh, medical degree courses that you can always pursue. So at number 10, uh, Bachelor of Science in Veterinary Medicine, right? Uh, I like uh, or I can really encourage some of us uh, who uh, like dealing with animals or treating animals, right? So you can always go for this and I'll tell you that uh, uh, if you partner with some NGOs or rather if you uh, maybe join uh, some groups within the county who take care of the animal welfare, I think you will actually get a good job from those particular uh, categories. Now, I also need to mention that you ha need to have a B minus, right? Uh, of course, a C plus preferably to join or to pursue this particular uh, a degree course, right? Uh, also, you can see I've also listed, you need to have a C plus in biology, and of course in maths or physics or agriculture right so uh, that is bachelor of science in veterinary uh, medicine so you can also check i've shared the link to this particular website of ours at number nine we have bachelor of science in microbiology right so as you can see here you are not going to work in microbiology lab and teach and explain fundamentals ideas of bacteria and viruses so when it comes to doing some research work about maybe which bacteria is common which one which virus is disturbing people that is your area microbiology right so you need to uh, have a c plus in kcsc and also you need to have a c plus in biology or any biological sciences uh, any other two in chemistry or geography right so you need to have this particular qualification. So I, I also recommend Bachelor of Science in Microbiology, right? Uh, the other one is um, Bachelor of Science in Physical Therapy. So students here, you need to uh, have a mean grade of C plus at, in KCSE. And of course, you need to have a C plus in English or Kiswahili or even Biology, right? So. You need to have a strong C plus, right? So these are four year, uh, four year medical degree program that you will uh, need to pursue, right? So it will offer you knowledge on how to enhance, preserve, and restore uh, functional capacity of uh, human uh, beings. A very very marketable course. Uh, the other one is a Bachelor of Science in Radiography right so you're going to specialize in radiologist uh, you're going to become an expert in patient diagnosis right you're going to use x-rays and so on so you need to have a c plus right in kcc and of course you need to have a c plus in any of the cluster subjects such as physics biology maths or chemistry of course not forgetting english or Kiswahili. now I've often gotten this um, a question that how comes I have a C plus but I don't have maybe a C plus. I have a C plus or I scored a C plus in KCSC and I'm not able to do this particular uh, Bachelor of Science course because I don't have a C plus in either English or maths. So for us to resolve this problem, 
I've also talked about bridging courses that allows you to actually pursue your dream medical degree course. So kindly check within our articles and uh, the videos that I've made. I've actually talked about the combinations that you are likely uh, to have. And if you don't have, which bridging course you need to uh, to take, right? So uh, we also have number six, that is Bachelor of Science in Clinical Medic Medicine, right? So again, you need to have a C plus in your KCSC and you need, will gain the practical skills in clinical medicine. Uh, you'll actually also have surgery. Uh, you'll practice in surgery, pediatrics, right? As well as reproductive medicine. So uh, you can also do these courses from various uh, institutions or other universities. We have Vigaton University, Kirinyaga University, University of Nairobi, so it is your a choice to see which university you can join. Apart from that, you also have Bachelor of Dental uh, Surgery. So this is like a dentist, right? So you'll work in various places such as hospitals, clinics. I see most people have opened their own uh, dental clinics, right, which is good, right? So you need to have a minimum grade of C plus as usual, C plus in English, maths, chemistry, right? And of course you expect to earn between sixty thousand to hundred and twenty thousand. I think this is for an intern, right? But once you gain more skills and knowledge, uh, the pay is likely to increase. So check out this with KMTC. Uh, check out also Queer Catholic University. Check it also with Moe University and of course University of Nairobi. Actually University of Nairobi offers all these um, courses that we are talking about. We have Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Very very common and of course most people are pursuing it. Uh, if you want to <laughs> work abroad Right, uh, you can always do this because once you finish it, you'll always get a lot of opportunities outside Kenya. Anyway, uh, you need to have a C plus in English, uh, C plus in maths, and of course, generally you have to have a C plus in your KCSE. Right, so the salary for interns starts from fifty to hundred. This is just for start uh, starters, but as you proceed, you're likely to earn more than this. Right. So the university that offers these um, degree course include University uh, of Maseno, University of Masinde Muliro, University of uh, Nairobi, University of Wigaton, Jomo Kenyatta University. So check out which university is uh, convenient for you. And then we have <coughs> also a bachelor of science in medical laboratory science and technology. Now, we you can always even if you don't have, uh, even if you don't have uh, direct, uh, you don't have direct um, a requirement that is requ that is needed. You can always start with certificate, diploma, and then you do these degree courses, right? So. For medical laboratory science and technology, you need to have a C plus in your KCSC, a C plus in biology or chemistry, and of course, uh, you also need to have a C plus in physics, right? So you can see, for start starter salary, is between forty to ninety, right? Uh, some institutions that offer these courses include University of Nairobi, Kenyatta University. Uh, Mount Kenya University and JQuat. Then we also have um, another degree medical course that is Bachelor of Pharmacy. So this one you require to have a mean grade of C plus, a C plus in, in uh, maths, C plus in biology, a C plus in chem. And as I mentioned, check with Mount Kenya University, JQuat, and of course University of Nairobi, University of uh, uh, Methodist University, right? So that is Bachelor of Pharmacy. 
And then we have um, Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery. Uh, so this is one and uh, the same thing. So you can always uh, uh, enroll for this particular course if you have a C plus in maths. And of course, a C plus in physics, chemistry, and biology. So ideally, mostly this is a very highly sought out uh, course, right? So you need to have a wide understanding of medical sciences, clinical skills, and hands-on experience. So check with the University of Nairobi, JCOT, and of course, Kasinde Muliro. So I believe uh, those are the the degree medical courses offered by COOPS across the country. So should you have any suggestion, uh, recommendation, uh, share it within the comment uh, section. All right, thanks.